Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, Galaxy View. It took me forever to get this whole thing in frame because the box is massive. But, yeah, let's get into it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. If you look, I got the, what's that, 32 gig, 18.4. It's 18.4 inches. So, uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. Matter of fact, a little, not too much on the box. Very simple. It even comes with a handle. Those are your specs on there. It's, it's so massive, I had to zoom out so 18.4 full hd so it's 1080p 1.6 gigahertz octa-core processor two gigs of ram 5700 milliamp battery and then as always a portion of the memory is occupied by existing content so let's just get into it uh i haven't really opened it yet and it's this is not easy to get all on frame so uh yeah as you open it first thing that you see is not a micro usb power source I don't know if it's solely gonna use this, but this is basically one of the pen type chargers. 19 volts, two amps, look at that. 19 volts. This is a powerhouse machine. Anyway, going back to it, move that out the way. We got our, uh, this was right there in the side. Pull this out, there's our machine. So, see how I can do this. I'm just gonna move the box to the side. There's really nothing much else in there. Get to it. So, as you take it out the wrap, wow. Honestly, all I can say is wow. I'm gonna try to move the camera down a little bit. I've never seen nothing like this before. Wow. So there it is in all of its massiveness from here to there. That's insane. Anyway, so uh, let's check it out a little bit more. Let's see what we got. To be honest, I actually don't get how I'm gonna shoot this, but yeah, here we go. So power button on this side, volume rocker up and down right there. As you look, this is, this is amazing. It's got weight to it, but I can still wield it with one hand, no problem. Okay, that's the SD card slot, micro SD. Anything else that goes in there? Maybe there's, oh, that's probably where the cellular version's uh, SIM card will go right on that side. It's kind of hard to see it. There you go. So micro, micro SD right there. That's where your cellular part will go. You got a speaker right there if you can see that. And it is stereo sound, so you do have another speaker right there. What else we got on there? So yeah, it is micro USB based. I don't know if that's for charging, but it looks like it's just for data transfer headphone jack and then you got your charging block right there. Wow. I, I don't know, man. This is insane. All right, so we got mic right here. We've got another mic right here. And uh, without further ado, we're going to cut this bad boy on. So there we have it. We're going to peel off this little plastic real quick. Man, this is crazy. It's an insanely large tablet. I can't get it all on... I can't get it all on the camera. Wow, that's crazy. Maybe it's just me or this looks like a Windows 7 startup screen. So yeah, one thing that kind of threw me off or is throwing me off, I think I got the gist of it now, is the fact that this is your home screen. Like, this is your native home screen. So I did hear that the setup is a little different. I was wondering how, assuming how it could have been, but it's nothing like how I would have thought it was. It's uh, pretty much you got one whole screen that's for video. So say, for instance, if I want to punch in you know, CNN for Samsung. That's something that's exclusive for this. It's just for the view. Let's check and see what it's got, because I have no idea. Hand curated videos for your big tablet. That stuff changed. So, I guess the setup is one of the things that changed, because everything is huge and you can easily see it. And this is kind of dope, because like you can just have this sitting on your bed. It'll be sturdy with the stand that's already built in and everything. Uh, let's see what, I guess, a video is like. Um, future of travel. The future of travel could wow. take place here. Someday, is that as loud as it goes? This is Spaceport America in New Mexico. A place where you can <laughs> ride for a future ride to space. And decades, even with the 1080p resolution, I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. Even, even with the 1080p resolution, like, it still looks good. Like, it, you know what I'm saying? You don't need a humongous, like, you know, a thousand and... 18 billion pixels for this thing to look good like you got a nice size screen so that feels like it's enough man next thing i wanted to see something so yeah we're gonna go ahead and sign into the netflix real quick see what that's like crazy and look at this man the keyboard is amazing like let's see 
Uh, wow, you had everything. You got all the arrows back. You got the, the shift on both sides of the keyboard. You got your full number pad. You got all that good stuff, man. This is, this is solid. You got a full number pad. Dopeness, man. Symbols, all that good stuff. I can dig it. It brings back like the days of old when you had all that stuff on the actual keyboard. Let's see. Come on. Yep. Select all. Cut, copy, paste, undo. All that good stuff, man. You in the game with this bad boy. Yeah. We're going to get logged in and check out a video real quick. Ah. All right. So we got a little movie action on Netflix going on. Uh, I want to put this thing down real quick. Uh, I, I went to do this a second ago. And when I did, you know, you got the little, um, the little stand. When I went to do it. I seen it kind of detached itself, and I'm like, hold up, what's going on? Man, look at that. This is the movie machine, man. This, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to reposition this bad All right, so, this is crazy. Like, the way that it sits up, the way that, you know, you got this crazy little home screen on here, man, I don't even know what to call it, because, like, say, it is an Android device. You still get, you still get that normal Android feel that you're used to, but you got this different little setup. Uh, I don't even know what this is called. I have to do some research on it. But this crazy little setup that just mainly has all the movie apps for the home screen. So wherever you at, it don't matter what you're doing. If you hit home, it brings you right back to that screen. So say you want to watch Netflix, it's just bam, 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 bam. So for the kids or for whatever, you got all this good stuff right there. So uh, yeah, that's pretty simple, pretty straight to the point. What's that? You got your Google search bar right there. So if you want to do Google real quick, it stays on the taskbar, which is dope. They're bringing that back from old Android. And as you can see, on-screen controls, all that good stuff. Man, this is crazy. The DirecTV side, I'm assuming, you know, they partner with them. So if you do have DirecTV, that's the move for you. You can just go ahead and log in. You got all that good stuff. So, yeah, when you go in, I guess you got your normal DirecTV setup as you would have through the app. I don't know. I don't have DirecTV. But, uh, man, that's crazy. I love how you just slide the interface. But, yeah, you got all your stuff right there. You just tap it. You know what I'm saying? You go in. I don't got an account like you can see. But, yeah, so backing out, it's pretty much a humongous Android tablet that's mainly focused on, you know, movies. They call it the view for a reason. It's mainly focused on movies. You got, you know, still regular Android on this side where you can go into your apps, all that good stuff, see everything that's going on. Uh, same normal notification bar. Let's go in and check something real quick. What Android version is this? I'm assuming 5.1.1, SMT 670. Yeah, so moving forward, one thing I was wondering was, is, is what is this thing? I, I'm, I saw it when it opened up, but I wasn't going to do it until we're going to do it together. Hit start. So this is called Family Square. You share your memories. Frame your best photos by showing your memories in stunning HD quality. Let's check out that good stuff. Agree. And this is Family Square. So uh, create a family group. Wonder what that's like. Oh, so you have to physically send somebody to a group? That's weird. Yeah, so we just gonna try it. So I guess basically you just pin content and go through pictures on this. So it's a cool way to share pictures with everybody. It seems as if you add somebody to this group and they put anything on there, you'll be able to, you know, pretty much see it right here on this humongous screen so it really I guess brings out the clarity and the beautifulness and all the extra sexiness that your phone provides with the camera especially if you got that Note 5 or them new them new galaxies but yeah I guess that's kind of dope man how do I get out of this swipe down from the top but yeah I guess you just pretty much just make just make images and you know share with a group I guess that's cool if you want to do that let's see what that camera looking like so yeah I guess you can take pictures straight from it Let's see how it goes into the group. I'm going to hit OK. I guess save. You can add text, all that good stuff. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Done. What is edit about? I guess. OK, we're going to draw a little note on there. View. Save. <laughs> All right, cool. So there it is right there. And I'm assuming the people who's in that group, the family group, they're going to be able to see it too. And you can even make a screensaver out of it. So that's pretty cool. You got the little memo at the bottom so you can have all your little stuff going on. I see what they're trying to do here. They think they're cool. Because if it's going to be sitting up, that would be dope. So it's like a it's like a futuristic photo frame. They bring the, the, the picture, the digital picture frames back. And that's kind of cool, man. But yeah, this is simple. This is basically your new movie machine from Samsung. Huge screen. Uh, the stand is crazy. Like, if you look at it, this is how it's sitting up right now. 
And the cool thing is, I guess that's your carrying case. So when you want to carry that bad boy, you just hold it up like so. You want to bring it to a different room, and it's still sturdy. I'm like, I'm holding it straight out like this, and the weight don't even feel like it's not evenly being distributed. But, uh, man, that's kind of dope. The speakers are still out like that when it's like that. The sound coming right out at you. You got the two forms that way. It's easy to just convert it like that. Simple, straight to the point. This is dope. If you want a decent little movie machine, this is it, man. It's kind of cool if you care for that. Now, if you're looking for the highest in Android, this is not that. This is just for videos. That's why it's got a stand. That's why it's called The View. I'm going to ask three people what they think of it. Person one, what you think of it, Balake? It's a big ass tablet. Person two. Person three, do what you do. She does awesome. <laughs> well, <give me> one. <laughs> so, overall viewpoints of this humongous tablet, uh, it's the one for movies, man. This thing is easily portable, it's huge, it's great for the kids, you know what I'm saying? It's simple. If you want to go to it, it's just right there. You tap the tiles, you keep it moving, you can even select your TV service. So, if you have, I don't know, Comcast or whoever you got, I guess you're going to be able to stream from it if you're using their specific apps because there is no you know, IR blaster, so it's not meant to, you know, work with your TV. Uh, so yeah, Xfinity, I can log into my Xfinity all day, that's dope. Time Warner Cable, Direct TV, all of that good stuff. So that's there, so you can, you know, chime into that too. You don't necessarily just have to use Direct TV. But uh, it's simple, it's a nice Android, different little interface. You got the cool spot for the picture frames and stuff if you want to have that. Basically, it brings back the digital photo frame. Google's right there, you know what I'm saying? You can even choose whatever way you want to watch it. But uh, same old apps, all of that good stuff. Drawbacks to it. Um, I guess so far the only thing I can see is this. It's dope because it's a lot of power in that bad boy, but you got to uh, either rock with them or just go to like the universal ones. You can get at your Best Buy, Radio Shacks, if you can still find one, all that good stuff. But other than that, you know what I'm saying, if you just want a decent movie machine, there you go, man. This is... Uh, this is dope. Apparently, the price point is $5.99 for this bad boy. You can still add the micro USB. Yeah, you can still add that micro USB. And this thing just looks nice, man. Like, that's... I don't know, man. That, that thing is just kind of sexy, man. Pause. But, yeah, there you go, man. That's your Galaxy... Uh, that's your Galaxy View. Humongous tablet. Wow. So, yeah... One more thing, final notes, like I said, this is an amazing device if you're looking for something that would display your videos in amazing quality. And you know, you don't need a 2K screen, you don't need a 4K screen, 1080p is great. Keep in mind, we were going crazy over 1080p a few years ago. But with that being said, it's a simple touchscreen Android. If you think about it, it's a touchscreen TV that'll fit right on your bed, in your kitchen, in your living room, wherever you going, on your lap. A touchscreen TV, $599, dope, 18.4 inches. How could you complain? And it's portable. You don't even need to necessarily have it plugged into a wall. So it's a wireless TV. This touchscreen. They got all your favorite apps on it. If you just want to crush some candy, crush some candy on this bad boy. This is some next level stuff, man. This is definitely dope. Leave it to Samsung to do everything under the sun. Once again, they did it again. Dope, innovative design. I like how it converts. I like how you got this different setup. If all you want to do is watch movies, you just ta -ta -ta, keep it moving. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Galaxy View from Samsung. Oh.